So far, we've been talking about positive correlations, where things vary together, or when this hill goes up. But it is also possible to have negative correlations. And before you get confused, keep in mind that negative correlations are not the same thing as no correlation. Instead, when we say that two things are negatively correlated, what we're saying is that as one variable increases, the other one reliably decreases. And this gives us the same predictive power we see in positive correlations. Let's say I wanted to look at number of missed homeworks and final grade in a class. So here I'll have class grade with 100 on the top and a zero on the bottom. And here I'll have number of missed homeworks. where we'll start at one and end with, I don't know, 10. And in this case, we might see something like this. We might see the data points are moving down. And what this data would mean is that here someone missed one homework and they had a pretty high score. Here someone missed two homeworks and they didn't get as good of a grade. And as you see, as the number of missed homeworks increases, we're seeing that the grade in the class decreases. And that's what we mean by negative correlation. So in a positive correlation, the hill goes up, and in a negative correlation, the hill goes down. And there is such a thing as no correlation, and that's something that would look sort of like this. It doesn't really matter what the things on the axes are. And this could really be a graph of anything. Maybe it's number of kids in a class wearing the color yellow and class temperature. So instead of a clear trend upwards or downwards, like we see in positive correlations and negative correlations, in cases where there is no correlation, we would see no relationship between these dots whatsoever. There's no clean line that we could draw through them. There's no direction to the data.